Imagine if everything we know about the universe's origin is just one chapter in an infinite cosmic saga. We often hear that the universe began with the Big Bang, but what if I told you that might not be the whole story? Stick around, because today we're diving into the mind-bending theories that suggest the Big Bang was just a phase, not the start of everything. And here's a twist. We'll reveal a groundbreaking idea about the universe that even some scientists find hard to believe, so prepare to be amazed. What if the universe is caught in an endless loop, forever expanding and contracting? This isn't science fiction, it's the cyclic universe theory. Researchers like Paul Steinhardt and Neil Turok propose that the universe undergoes infinite cycles of big bangs and big crunches. This means the universe as we know it has been reborn countless times. In a cyclic model, each cycle could last about a trillion years, meaning the universe could have been cycling through these phases for an unimaginable amount of time. Imagine every time the universe ends, it starts again, potentially with different conditions and laws of physics each cycle. Well, this would be a cyclic universe that would uh, go through regular periods of evolution, beginning with a bang and the two, these two brains, these two worlds flying apart, going through periods of expansion and cooling and creation of galaxies, stars and planets and life. This concept can be linked to ancient cosmologies too. For example, Hindu cosmology describes an eternal universe with cycles of creation and destruction, eerily similar to what modern physics suggests. Now let's talk about eternal inflation, a theory by Alan Guth. Imagine our universe as just one bubble in a vast cosmic foam. In this theory, new universes are constantly being created in a never-ending inflationary process. This means the Big Bang was simply the start of our bubble, not the entire cosmos. Eternal inflation implies there could be an infinite number of universes, each with different physical laws and constants. Think about it. There might be universes where gravity works differently, or where life as we know it couldn't exist. Universe formed by any one of these local events where the inflating region decays uh, would be called a pocket universe. Pocket just to suggest that there are many of them and in the overall scale of this multiverse, they're in some sense small, even though they'd be as big as the universe that we live in. And our universe would be one of these pocket universes. The idea of a multiverse also opens up intriguing questions about the nature of reality itself. Are there other yous living different lives in parallel universes? The concept pushes the boundaries of science fiction into potential reality. Let's dive into quantum gravity, a field that merges quantum mechanics and general relativity. Physicists like Ahmed Farag Ali and Sarya Das propose that quantum corrections to Einstein's equations eliminate the Big Bang singularity. In their model, the universe has no beginning or end, it's eternal. Their equations suggest a universe that has always existed in a stable quantum state with no need for a singular start point. This model avoids the problematic infinite densities and temperatures at the Big Bang, proposing instead a universe that's always been expanding. Consider how this changes our understanding of time itself. If the universe is eternal, time might not have a true beginning. This challenges our linear perspective of past, present and future, suggesting a more complex and interconnected flow of time. The cosmic microwave background, CMB radiation, is often cited as evidence for the Big Bang, but it might also hold clues to what came before. If the universe has gone through multiple cycles or phases, the CMB could contain imprints from previous universes, the CMB is about 13.8 billion years old, but anomalies in its data might hint at events predating the Big Bang. For instance, certain patterns in the CMB could be remnants of a previous universe's collapse, leaving a fingerprint on our own universe's birth. Some scientists, like Roger Penrose, suggest that these anomalies could be evidence of conformal cyclic cosmology, where each universe leaves imprints on the next. 
Classical physics suggests the universe started from a singularity, an infinitely dense point. However, Bohmian mechanics offers a different view. This theory posits that quantum particles follow distinct paths that never cross, preventing the formation of singularities. Bohmian trajectories ensure that singularities do not appear in the universe's equations, implying a non-singular origin. This model suggests that our universe might have been born from a previous state without collapsing into a singularity. Imagine the implications, a universe where every point in space-time has a clear, defined history, avoiding the paradoxes and infinities of singularities. Some scientists propose that the Big Bang was not a beginning but a phase transition like water freezing into ice. This perspective sees the Big Bang as a transformation of pre-existing energy into the universe we know today. This theory aligns with observations of cosmic expansion and the distribution of galaxies, providing a coherent alternative to the singular origin. It suggests the universe existed in a different state before the Big Bang, perhaps as a quantum vacuum or another form of matter-energy configuration. The other, if time is truly fundamental, if time is real and there and, and inextricable from the fundamental equations, then I think it's very likely that the Big Bang was not the beginning. So my favorite view of that is that there is a much larger universe that we don't see, that our little universe is a tiny little part of the whole picture. What if the Big Bang wasn't the beginning of the universe? Theories like the cyclic universe, eternal inflation, and quantum gravity challenge our traditional understanding. They open up a cosmos that is far more complex and mysterious than we ever imagined. If you're intrigued by these mind-bending ideas, don't forget to subscribe and click here to watch our next video where we explore the potential finding of life beyond Earth. Stay with us as we continue this incredible journey, revealing more about our universe and perhaps about the origins and nature of life itself.